What's up, y'all? This is Brother Ali, and I'm up at Lime Sales headquarters and office to take care of some business. And um, it's not like me to sit here and talk to a camera, but um, I have a few things that I just want to get out here. Um, you know, I, I made this song, Uncle Sam Goddamn, and, and um, some other songs, and people kind of take me as being a political cat, and I'm not really. Um, I vote, and I, you know, I have my opinions on things, but I'll never really tell you what you should be doing. This year, for the first time, and, and I would imagine the only time, um, I have a candidate though that I'm that I'm riding for, and um, his name is Keith Ellison. He is uh, in the uh, U.S. House of Representatives on behalf of Minneapolis, and um, the reason that I'm riding for this guy, man, is because I know him personally. I've known Keith before he ever ran for any office. I've known him since probably '93. Um, and prior to him running for office, he was an attorney. Um, you know, you always hear people talk about they're going to change the system from within, and it usually doesn't happen like that. This is an individual, though, who used his knowledge and his access to resources to really help people in the community get justice. And um, I actually have a friend that's really close to me who um, had an issue of police brutality from the Minneapolis to police uh, department. And Keith really helped him get closure and get some justice on that issue. And um, so I'm riding for him. I, I know his character, I know his heart, I know what he's about. And um, he's still out here in the community. You can be in North Minneapolis in what they call the hood and you can see him you know, out and you can access him, you can call him, he'll call you back. Um, he's real, he's the, he's the real thing. And as much good as somebody can do from that position, I really believe that he will do it. And um, so I'm riding for him. Basically what it means is that we're having a show. What all really comes down to, I'm just doing a show, what I normally would do anyway. But uh, um, it's basically um, an event to raise awareness for Keith Ellison's re-election. But what he's trying to do is he's got this campaign called Explode the Vote, which means that he's got the goal of bringing out 20,000 new voters in Minnesota, in Minneapolis in particular, um, people who have never voted before, people who have never been interested in voting before, a lot of young people, people whose voices normally are overlooked uh, when, when political campaigns are putting together their strategy. He told me that they basically figured that young people aren't going to vote, and so they don't really pay that close attention to what we care about in these elections. So we're trying to change that. and so. The show is on October the 2nd, which is a Thursday night at the University of Minnesota at 6 o'clock. Come down there and check it out. We're going to throw down. Me and my man making a new set. We're going to throw down. And um, on October the 4th, or November the 4th is election day. And if you are a person, I'm not telling you who to vote for, but if you are a person that has an opinion on this thing, and if you feel like you want it to go a certain way, don't fuck around. Don't sit on your couch. Don't forget to do it. You actually have uh, the constitutional right to leave work so that you can go and vote. Um, just because you have a record doesn't necessarily, a, you know, a criminal record doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do it. You got to get registered. You know what I mean? You got to show up with your proper ID and all that stuff. But man, just go on Google and figure out what it takes for you to vote where you at. And just, man, don't fuck around and forget to do it, man. Do, just do it. And, um, you know, we're going to see if we can't make something happen. Alright, that's it for now. Peace.